move on the face ya yeah? Clarence is chatting at a coffee shop table with Danny, his best buddy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Joe. The company, but the company is relocated to China. June 16th. June 16th. Last year, last day. Unless, unless we don't go to China. Sorry, I'm sorry. We have a company. Don't go to China. Sorry. June 16th. 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 Sorry, Joe, but the company is relocating to China. Don't sorry, Joe. Take care of the expenses of our China. Unless you want to relocate to China. Take care of the expenses of our We're sorry if we have less you want to relocate to China. Sorry, Joe. We're sorry if we have less you want to relocate to China. June 16th will be our last day. Unless you want to relocate to China. We're sorry if we have less you want to relocate to China. I'm sorry, Joe, but the company is relocating to China. work just now, that's all. Are you sure? Something happened at work today? It's nothing, dear. Come on, dear, you can tell me. Hmm? My boss announced today that the company is going to close down its Singapore branch office and relocate to China by the end of the month. What? So what's going to happen to all of you? Are you all fired? Some of my colleagues are going to relocate to China, but the rest of them who are not will be laid off. So you're fired? Well, they asked me to relocate to China, but I said no. But it's okay, dear. I have my freelance work still, and Joyce has been asking me to take up the job at the paper on a contract basis. But, but that's not a permanent job, dear. Fuck. How can they fire you like that? Are they going to give you retrenchment pay? Oh, fuck. Just when I was thinking, I'm in deep shit. It's okay, dear. I'll still be able to manage for the both of us. You just go ahead and quit. No, no. No, no, I can't. We can't afford it. Look, nothing's set in stone yet. I'll hold on to my job, okay? I I've been working there for the past three years, so it should be okay. So you don't want kids anymore? Of course I want. It's just that... 
we need the money, dear. What would happen to the mortgage if, if, if I quit my job? You're not going to quit your job. You're going to start a new business. You have to do it now. When little Carrie comes along, you won't be able to leave your job. I know. I know. It, it's, it's just that I'm, I'm worried about the bills and the mortgage. You just leave that to me, okay? When the business takes off, I'll quit my job. And then you can pay for everything. I know, I know. Look, what if I don't quit my job? Then we won't have any cash flow problem. So you want to live paycheck by paycheck for the rest of your life? We have to do something now. I know, dear. Let's wait and see. Hmm? No. You quit tomorrow, okay? I... I Hello. Hey. Am I free to meet up later? Yeah. Three o'clock? Cool. Okay, see you then. Bye. My favorite. Favorite death scene in a movie? Favorite death scene in a movie? Uh, yeah. Leslie Chung in A Better Tomorrow 2. Mm. Marlon Brando in The Godfather. Your turn. Sean Connery in The Untouchables and Arsenio Hall in Harlem Nights. Harlem Nights? That, that's really funny. That's <laughs> whole. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay, my turn. Favorite animal movies? What? Favorite animal movies? Uh, animal Farm, I suppose. Good. Uh, you? Cat from Outer Space. Cat from Outer Space? What kind of movie is that? Yeah, it was a very popular 70s show. It was shown on the wonderful world of Disney. It's about this, this cat that came from outer space, crash lands on Earth. And it wears this uh, collar that allows it to speak to humans. It was, the cat was so cute. I really like that show. Yeah, that sounds familiar. I think I saw that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful world of Disney. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. It's my all-time favourite. I always watch it every week. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> I've got a different quiz for you now. Okay, sure. What do you look for in a girl? Me? You're asking me what I look for in a girl? Yeah. Uh, well, it's not gonna sound very romantic to you. It's okay, tell me anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Here goes. Um, there, there, there's three reasons, more or less, like three criteria to be exact. Three criteria. Yeah. Okay. okay. Criteria number one, she must not be possessive. She must give me room to grow so that we can both grow in our relationship. Okay, that's true. Okay. Uh, I have one too. Okay. Secondly, second criteria is that she must um, love Chinese culture as much as Western culture. Now, you know that I've got a lot of friends who are loud and boorish, okay? Mm -hmm. So she must learn to love dialect because she doesn't learn to love dialect how can i expect her to be uh, to teach our children to be bilingual uh, that's true too hmm? third she must love movies okay how can i expect her to love me when she can't even understand the one passion i have in life that's true mm -hmm. what about looks what about it uh, look no looks fade okay looks just fade now Every gorgeous girl that comes around the corner, there's always another gorgeous one coming from the other corner.